Right, I've come at a ridiculous time of day to look at your house to see where the radiators need to go. We are in the front downstairs sitting room. Ideally, you put radiators underneath windows so that you kind of provide a, a curtain of warm air that sort of shields the room from the coldness of the window. So really, if a proper job is done, you want a radiator there. Um, a smallish double one, like a 60 centimetre high by 2 metre wide. Failing that, there's probably the easiest place if you want a quick job. Um, although <coughs> people quite often want to put sofas there and there where that bed is. But those are two options to where radiators can go. Pipe work can come from... Obviously I'll have to lift floorboards upstairs, but it'll come down the wall. Or... That's why putting them under the, under the, um, the windows costs more, because you've got to run the pipes further along across the joists upstairs and lift more floorboards and but you do end up with a better looking central heating system and it'll do a better job. Right. Go into the pitch black this bit. Um, most people have radiators in the in the front hallway. Obviously one could go well Probably on that wall because then the pipe feeding coming down from upstairs can feed the radiator in there and in here. So yeah, you want a radiator on that wall as well. Probably a two and a half meter long single or something. Uh, let's open some windows. Better. Uh, in here, again under the window, though there's not a huge amount of width for one. Well, you could have you could have a radiator going, starting at that end and going past the window. Uh, or on any of these walls, a bit of a short one there. I suppose that wall would be better. And the main feed and return pipes would be coming in above the ceiling in that sort of corner, I guess, if we want the boiler to be in the kitchen. So some pipes could branch off from upstairs and come down the wall and feed a radiator here into the kitchen um, there's your existing water heater we've got cold water in, hot water out in the gas pipe I guess coming from the gas pipe that feeds the cooker as well uh, the only point to having the combi boiler here is the fact that there's a gas pipe already here but wherever that gas pipe is coming from you'll, it needs to be coming from a it's coming from up there whether or not there's a 22mm gas pipe in there I don't know there needs to be a 22mm pipe feeding a combi boiler if it's a 15 then you might just as well have it anyway. Because <laughs> if it was a 15 all the way up to there, then you'd have to. We need to find where that's coming from, where that gas pipe's coming from, whether it's a 15 or if it comes with a 22 anywhere. And that's where you're talking about having the combi boiler. And that would be a better place in a way because. There wouldn't have to be such a long run of pipes. 
they just be hanging on the wall there and the pipes would go kind of through the, the this is the outer wall of the house isn't it through the kitchen extension there so it's got to go make a hole through there Saying that we've already got a hole there, so maybe put, putting all of the pipes up here and over to there wouldn't be such a big deal either. A um, 13 millimeter copper pipe costs about a pound a meter. 22 mil, I don't know, 120, 150 a meter. And then there's all the fittings. So it's possible because we've already got pipes going. We've already got a hole that's going through the. The outer wall it might just as well be just as be as easy to put all the pipes on, on this side and have the combi boiler where the water heater is anyway. Um, yeah and then I don't know what that means for cupboard space but obviously you'd have a this would just be the way it is now. Maybe have some or you could have a fridge or cupboards here or whatever. Let's go upstairs. Again, with a proper job, you'd have a double radiator under that window. As I've said, it increase, increases the cost because you've got to lay a longer run of pipe. But the, as well as that, it, it's a much bigger job to get all the floorboards up. So I'd have to roll back all the carpet wherever, wherever it goes, whether it goes on that chimney breast or... If you want it done as cheaply as possible, then the radiators all go on the mi on the on the walls that are sort of in the middle of the house and as close to where they're going downstairs to the combi boiler as possible. So the ra so for a cheap job, you'd have a wall radiator on that wall for a or maybe there. Because they'd be coming, the pipes under the floor would be coming through here, and they'd be taking a corner here into this room, and under the floor, and then that way, and in that corner, they'd have to go down and into the kitchen, or is it that corner? Because that's probably, yeah, it's that corner that the gas pipes and the water pipes come up from in from the kitchen from the from the water heater. They probably branch off it's probably straight through the wall into the bathroom. But again in here you can take your pickets to where you have the radiators. Um, don't know. It's a bit of a useless box there. So there's that storage space um, yeah, under the window on this wall either depending on where we think eventually somebody will want to put the bed personally I'd have the bed with the headboard up that end coming lengthways here rather than at the end of the room well, that's just me so in the bathroom hmm. we have to take we probably have to take the sink and the toilet out anyway as you're replacing all this you might as well because in that corner the, uh, the water pipes would have to come in under there under the floor and a nice place to put a radiator heat will maybe be here so when you're sat on the loo in the freezing cold in the winter you're sat next to a nice warm radiator or if you want a towel heater have it on the chimney breast oh, yeah. 
And then in our, in our bathroom, because the radiator's not under the window, you sort of walk into the bathroom and it's nice and warm. And then around the corner where the window is, it's, it's cold, it sort of sucks the heat out. Uh, it depends on whether we eventually want the sink there or whether the sink's going to go elsewhere. I'd completely change where the bath is and where the toilet is and where the sink is in here. But, yeah. And here, people tend to have a small radiator in the landing as well. Sort of there in that step down or yeah, there's a socket there. You can put it there. And that's it really. So if we just trace where the pipe works, it's going to have to be coming up and down the stairs. Yeah, you can see there. Okay. There's where the combi boiler should go in my opinion. There's a conduit thing where the pipes already go. You rip all that out. Rip all the pipes out. Straight through the wall. I've already got a hole there which we might, well, we'll definitely have to make bigger to get more pipes and bigger pipes through. We'll have to find where the gas pipe comes from the gas meter, see whether it's a 22 mil pipe. If it isn't, we'll have to rip out the existing gas pipe and put a bigger one in. I'd imagine it will be a 22 mil one somewhere because it's also feeding the gas fires downstairs. Okay, we're through the wall. There's the other side of it. They go up through the ceiling and then into that small back bedroom. So let's go upstairs. Yeah, down there will be where they come up under the floorboard. So it's a question of ripping all the, or taking all the carpet up, taking some floorboards up around here. Um, some of them, the ones that want to go into the, well, we've got the um, uh, feed and return 22 mil pipes coming under here. You'd have branches off, feed and return going into the bathroom radiator, probably under the floor here. Obviously, the carpet's got to come up. Another one here or there. Uh, we've already covered the radiator. Here, yeah, the feed and return to the bathroom could come under the wall behind the sink. And the 22mm pipe would have to continue, take a corner, go down the step, back up into this bedroom. It would still have to be 22mm pipe in here because you're, you're feeding a radiator in here and then. It's going to come up to this sort of point, and that's where your 22 mil pipe finishes, and you can have obviously a feed and return for the radiator here, but it'd also go downstairs, and yeah, it'd go downstairs into the front room to feed that radiator, and from the 22 here, you'd have to have another. 15 mil feed and return. And we're about where the partition wall is at the front entrance, and that would have to go downstairs to feed the radiator in the front entrance. So it's not too horrendous a job, it's just lots of floorboards, carpets lifting and floorboards lifting up. But it's not going to be a fast job either. Um, there's two alternatives as to how. The piping is done. You can either use, as I say, 22 and 15 mil pipe. That's the proper way of doing it, the decent way of doing it. Or if people are really doing it on the cheap, they use microbore pipe, which means you'd come upstairs with 22 mil pipe and it goes into a manifold, and then you have microbore pipe coming off the manifold. And it's just like skinny little pipe that you don't have to solder or it just bends, you bend it around all the corners, still un well under the floorboards, but people do run them along the uh, the skirting boards as well. Personally I hate microbore. 
it looks naff. It can block up after a few years. It can silt up and, re and reduce the flow to the radiators and it just looks nasty. <laughs> if, I'd buy a, if I was to buy a house, I'd much rather see normal 15mm pipes going through all the radiators rather than this skinny little microbore things. Um, let's just go downstairs briefly. Yeah, as I said, that's 22mm upstairs would end up there, the other side of the ceiling, and come down as a 15mm feed and return to the radiator here. Or if you didn't want, well, yeah. Or it, it depends on where you want the radiator, if you want it there, but if you want it here, you can have a radiator on both sides of this wall, so you've got one there and one on the other side in the front passageway, in which case the pipe goes along the ceiling all the way and down. That's easier in some ways, but it depends where you want it. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't have to come down the wall, you could just have it coming down the in inside and then through the wall to a radiator here. Really, the window. 